I see many people on forums, online chats, Facebook groups and YouTube that have become obsessed with the idea that more power equals more range when it comes to two-way radio. Now, in some cases this is absolutely true, but the main discussions I see on this subject are relating to handhelds. Now, there are many adverts on eBay and other sites claiming that their radio will output 10, 15 and even 18 watts, and for the most part this is simply not true. Lyshen did a 25 watt handheld a couple of years ago, which I believe did pack the punch, but it was the size of a mobile radio, had a 12 volt battery and was ridiculously expensive. Now, some may argue that 10 to 18 watt handhelds aren't a good idea right next to the head, but leaving that aside, there really isn't any point anyway. A few watts on a handheld doesn't make any discernible difference at all, and I did some tests in a recent video and showed that the antenna made all the difference and the power really made none. I also tested the 5 watt Bofeng GT3 versus the 8 watt GT3 TP and there was no difference at all in terms of the signal received and the transmission quality. Which brings me on to the Bofeng UV9R. I purchased this radio and it arrived today and the reason I purchased it was to prove the point that I'm making in this video and that is to be careful when it comes to the marketing terms used by high volume sellers on eBay you'll find that they sell thousands of different items and the radios that they're selling, they have no knowledge of whatsoever. So when they advertise them, they just copy what others are doing, which leads to mass listings of these high powered radios, which really aren't. So the UV9R, this is a really nicely styled radio, very similar to the older GT3 WP. It's identical in operation to most other Bofeng radios out there in that it has virtually the same menu options and configuration which means it's easy to program if you know how to program Bofengs. It's advertised as waterproof and dustproof which if it's anything like its older brother it may well be. It comes with a supplied power supply, antenna and battery uh, but does require a different type of programming cable. This radio has the Motorola style data port on the side as opposed to the Kenwood style socket that come with traditional Bofeng radios. And it comes with all the usual features such as 128 channels, full duplex for repeaters, dual VFOs, a flashlight, computer programming and an operating range of 130 to 176 MHz on VHF and 400 to 520 MHz on UHF. But we're only really interested in the output power. Now I was thinking this may be will do 8 watts and it's a typo or just a rebadged GT3 WP. I was very aware that it probably wouldn't do 18 watts even though the advert and the radio itself told me that it would. So I got out my cheap GY561 power meter. Not the most scientific piece of equipment in the world but it does give very accurate power and frequency readouts so it would tell me exactly what this radio is doing. So here's the results. As you can see, a very credible performance for a tri-powered VHF and UHF radio and exactly what you'd expect from most handhelds advertised at 5 watts. I've got no doubt at all that this radio will perform really well, work exactly as it should and last me quite a long time, but it doesn't live up to the power levels that it's been advertised with. So I hope you found this of some interest, it just goes to show that a little bit of research goes a long way when deciding which radio you want to spend your hard earned cash on. Both things are decent little radios, I've always used them and never had a problem with them but it's so important to watch out for these little advertising snags that will cause you to be disappointed when your radio arrives. So we will be going out and testing this radio out in the field, as I said I think it will do just as well as any other but it just isn't 18 watts. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give it a thumbs up, if you have any comments, suggestions or questions drop them in the box below and I'll get back to you and all that's left to say is 7-3. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you in the next one.